Ready to talk? Hey, what's going on, guys? J Flesh Tanks. Me and the uh, the partner in crime, my youngest son. We've been down here doing a ton of maintenance, so I thought I'd show everybody what's going on. 125 is cloudy because we just rescaped it. Um, like I said, this dude helps me out a ton. Uh, get your kids involved with. If you got kids, get your kids involved with what you do because uh, I don't know they're the future of the hobby. But I wanted to. I wanted to get on. Um, you know, show everybody. I. I mean. We, we busted out these tanks today, huh? How yeah? Do you think we, we just cleaned 14 aquariums, so we How thought we'd... Do you think Yeah? Uh, so I'm going to pick you guys up um, and kind of show you each tank and what's going on. There's uh, one tank down here that's got a little bit of change in it just because uh, I screwed up. So uh, we'll, we'll kind of get into that and show you what's going down. All right, so we're back, guys. This is uh, the bee shrimp tank. I've shown this tank a ton, and uh, every time I show it, I can't find them. I did a big water change on this, and they were all out cruising around. There is some, there's some cherries in here that uh, were up on this subwasser tank when I put it in the tank, and they made it in here. Right there, some bee shrimp. There's one buried female in there right now. So we'll start getting some more babies. Uh, there's like one, one, two, three, three or four uh, small little shrimplets uh, from those guys. So that's starting to come along, which is nice. Real minimum, simple tank. Guppies, they do their thing. Uh, there's, a, there's a small population of cherry shrimp in there too. Nothing really cool. There's a ton of babies in here. My, my kids like this tank just because of those guys, as you can see. Thinning those ones out, finding the ones that I like. I like the ones with the red and blue on them, so the ones with red and blue get to stay. The blues, uh, they get put in a different tank or uh, fed to the, the dough by, which I'll show you here in a second. Cherry shrimp tank. There's a bunch of cherry shrimp. As you can see, it's just a sea of subwasser tang. Just let that grow out and uh, let it do its thing. <clears throat> cherry shrimp seem to really dig it. So uh, I'm trying to find a buried female. I saw a couple early when I did a water change, but they're they're just you'll have to trust me. There's a sea of red in there underneath the green. This tank is just a plant holding tank. It's got my I know I'll use that in a second, but uh, this has got my neons in it, uh, some black. Uh, what else do I got in here? Some black neons, some baby fry up there. I just made it in in the tank. Uh, it's just like I said, plant holding, holding a ton of plants in that tank. This tank empty, but it's holding all my pearl weed clippings. As you can see, there's a whole mess of pearl weed in here, so. That's what that's for. Jake, he's doing good. Carnival goldfish. He's mine. Yeah, he's yours, that's right. He's doing well. Just just uh, he's actually grown quite a bit, so he's doing Daddy. well. He's doing pretty well, huh, bro? Uh this tank down here. Uh it's got some epistogrammas in it. Uh these ones are doing really well. Uh, Pistogramma Borley eyes are in this tank. Uh, doing well. This tank, once again, holding a ton of plants. Uh, this one's got uh, Pistogramma Sunset Wild Caught. They're doing real well too. Uh, the male is. Yeah, I wish he'd come out. He, he hangs out in the back with the females. But he's in there, he's doing really well. This tank had. You can see it's cloudy. I just uh, substrated it with uh, some aragonite. Uh, it had a uh, Pistogramma Agazizi yellow wildcots. And what I've been doing with these two tanks, and what I was doing with this one, is I'm slowly adjusting them to tap water. Uh, the two wildcot tanks, and uh, these guys hated it. Um, oh, there, he, oh, there's the male. 
Let me just split off. These are right there. Uh, all these ones died uh, from me trying to adjust the pH, which sucks. So it's got aragonite. It's going to be a shell dweller tank. Uh, ordered uh, 10 uh, multifasciatus. Uh, for this tank, so that's what's gonna go in this tank. Uh, in the next, oh, I'll probably go pick those guys up Wednesday. Uh, today's Wednesday, so next Wednesday. Uh, here are the croaking grommies. They're doing real well. They're all fat right now. I just fed them, so they're doing real well. Usually they're colored up, but they're hating me right now because I did a huge water change on that tank today. This tank right here has got. The blue rams. Is looking money. Still got three blue rams. One uh, one of the females is always back in those two pots, so she's over there. You can see her kinda. And gold rams doing well. It's the gold ram trio hanging out. doing its thing. This tank's got my purple V-Haw in it. It's a 20 long. I know. I know. I know. Uh, it's too small of a tank. Uh, but my Dovi, I tried twice to put him in the tank and he totally beat the hell out of him. And he's healing up. Where is he? Right back there. You can't really see him because I don't have a light on the tank because he was all beat to hell. But all his wounds are fixed. He's going to go in the 75 once I get that set up. You can't really see that one. Too bad. It's a shame. 125. Just like I said, I just uh, re aquascaped this tank um, for now. He's doing really good. He's all timid right now, though. But I've been feeding him uh, the uh, new era cichlid pellets. And uh, what's cool about these things, I, I know somebody, uh, there's a bunch of reviews on this stuff online um, let me show you what's going down here but let's see if you can see that see how it's just little pellets but what's cool about this stuff because I mean these are too small for him but they're moist so I just what I do here I'll uh, squeeze it into a ball oh can you see that see now it's a big pellet and let's see if he comes out is he gonna come? Oh, there he is! Bam! Already powering it down. Bam, 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 bam. Mr. Dovi, huh, bro? His name's Chet Ripley, huh? Yeah. That's Chet Ripley, guys. He's putting on some size. He's cool. Let's look at him, bro. Sorry about the glare, but all these are the tanks down here. It is what it is. Chet Ripley, guys. And if anybody can tell me. <laughs> Anybody could tell me what Chet Ripley's from without looking it up on uh, the internet. You've earned my respect. But that's his name. Well, how about Jake is my, his name? Jake's his name? Yeah. No. How about Nemo? That how about Nemo? No, we don't got. We already got Nemo. But this video is probably getting long. I wish this tank was clear. I hate showing foggy tanks, but it is what it is. It's like a little desert. Can you say see you later, YouTube? Wait, wait, they can't. No, that's a drill bit. Where's your toy? You want to show them your toy? Your new toy? <laughs> well, don't put it so close, dude. <laughs> wait, wait, they can't see it. <laughs> Who is it? Casey Poopy Jones. Casey Poopy Jones? Casey Jones. Casey Jones, okay. He's Master Splinty. Oh, Master Splinter's in the house too. In the in the fish room, huh? Alright guys. We'll see y'all later, man. Peace.